So are you feeling that you're not progressing fast enough in expeditions? Maybe you hit a wall for a time now and can't seem to get past over it. Maybe because your DPS is not big enough or maybe because enemies take you down too fast. Despite you having a good build, a good setup and everything seems to be on check but there is something about the game that just holds you back. Well, we're gonna talk about that mistake here in this video and how you can address it because this can literally cost you at least half of your current HP levels as well as half of your available damage. The point that even one single item being changed or added into the mix can completely turn things around for you. So let's talk about that in this video. Now all of this begins from the very weird scaling that exists in the game, currently there are some bugs and a few problems, way too many that I don't have time to explain here in this video, but there is one aspect of it that I do want to focus on because this is the biggest culprit that literally costs you half of your damage and half of your available HP, which is the fact that when the game calculates your health values and your firepower values and also the anomaly power and the armor, so basically all of these basic stats right here at the the top it doesn't just look at the raw stats on your equipped pieces it also looks at your average item level yes it doesn't tell you anywhere in the game that they do this but it's actually true when the game calculates especially your health and firepower it looks at your average item level so what this means for you is that literally every single piece that you equip on your character can have a very big impact on how your stats will look like to the point that even one single piece that is significantly lower level than everything else can bring down your stats to half if not even more sometimes depending on where you are in the game so let me show you actually how that works in this case my character has only about 2300 health right here which is extremely low my maximum item level right here in this footage was about 37 but i was using a level 13 pistol let me show you how broken it is by just the fact that i'm wearing this broken pistol which in theory should not have any effect on my character right well, let's see what happens if we completely replace it with something of an appropriate item level for the character in this footage, in this case, I level 37. So as you can see, out of nowhere, my health just increased by 1000 points just from equipping a pistol. Now, I was sitting here when I filmed this and I was looking at the stats and I couldn't believe it, like how the hell did my HP just increase if the pistol that I just equipped does not even list an HP bonus or stat on it and then I found the reason why it's not because of the pistol like not in itself it's because my average item level just went high enough so that the game recalculated my basic values which further increased my HP in this case by over a thousand and by the way this is only one item now imagine what happens if you have a sidearm that you forgot about maybe a pistol or maybe a pair of boots that you forgot about and are lagging behind imagine what happens when we have multiple of these items all lagging behind just a little bit to bring down your values by a ton so in this case with this fresh character I went a little bit further and also changed a few other pieces as well like in this case i believe it was the head piece which was only i level 34 switched it to a 37 and then i also went to um this glove i believe and we also switched it around to see how it goes and look at these results does this make any sense to you we literally doubled our hp in a couple of minutes by switching three items around two of which were very close in eye levels by the way from 33 to 37 you think that it's not such a big leap but it's actually a very big one because the game recalculates all of your stats. I will show that with the weapons in just a little bit, but if you ever felt that you're dying too fast all of a sudden, maybe you just got one shot it while previously it was not the case, or maybe all of a sudden you're noticing that your bullets are just tickling your enemies while previously they were more than capable in taking them down quickly, this is the reason why. At least one of your pieces is lagging behind in one way or another to the point that even one piece and even one item level 
can make a huge impact. So imagine when that is spread to multiple eye levels or multiple pieces at the same time. It's going to nerf you right there in front of your eyes. By the way, the same issue presents itself with the weapons and the firepower as well. And actually, it doesn't just affect the firepower, it also affects like the health values. I will show that in just a little bit. But basically, if you have a primary weapon or even a secondary weapon that is too low eye level compared to your current max, it is going to affect the firepower as well. Let me give you an example with this LMG right here. It's level 44 and with it, my firepower is just a little bit over 80,000. Now, if I were to equip this 46 one, as you can see, the difference in firepower listed on the item cards is just a little bit over 10k. In this, 10,030 damage would be the exact value. Now, you would expect that my firepower to climb up by exactly that, so that would would be 91,000 in this case, right? Well, not really, it actually increases by almost double with the difference because as I've said, it's not just the default stat on the item card that counts, it's also the eye level that can bring that further up. In this case, it results with 17,000 firepower on top. Now, this isn't normally such a big deal because most of you out there will upgrade your weapons first anyway, so it's constantly going to be at the maximum possible eye level for your current character. But throughout all of this, you've likely missed a very important detail that is also the main reason why you're getting now one-shotted in Expeditions, is the fact that just the simple, you know, switch that I was doing between these two weapons was pretty much bringing my HP values to half for some reason, to the point that I was even equipping the eye level 46 one and my health values were still only half, so in this case 6,000 instead of 12,000 how it is normally. So if you take a look into the parenthesis, it shows you the real values which are the full ones and luckily enough with the recent update they also kind of implemented, I think they implemented a fix because now it doesn't remain permanent. Previously, it seemed to be permanent or at the very least, sometimes it would like take effect and it would give you the half HP values instead of your full values despite you having the stats properly and of course the eye levels to the cap that it needed. So again, pay attention to these because even if you switch between these, it can still mess up your stats. So my recommendation in this case is to keep everything at a pretty close item level to your current maximum if your current maximum is like 40 try to get every single piece of gear to 40 because even one piece at a time can make a huge difference this also brings me to the next set of mistakes that are also holding you back and this stirs from your fear in tuning down the challenge tier way below your current item level and there's a good reason why I'm saying that and this brings us back to that item level average I was talking about if what we need is to increase our item levels what this means is that you're looking to upgrade that in the fastest shortest and easiest kind of way which in this case is going to be through the rares I was talking about now fortunately enough rares are plenty and abundant in expeditions and the lower your challenge tier is the more the balance is going to be favored towards rares rather than epics and legendaries so this is why I recommend that sometimes you can even tune down the tier even like three four or five levels below your current maximum go in farm over there it's going to be way faster it's going to give you way more rares and it's those rares that you will want to bring up to your current maximum possible eye level like for example let's take this piece of gear which seems completely under leveled and inappropriate for my current build but as i've said leveling it up as a rare is extremely cost efficient it's only going to cost you in this case less or in the case of weapons it's going to be iron it doesn't cost any drop pod resources and once it's at its maximum you can just spend a few hundred of those titanium pieces upgrade it to a epic and then put it on your gear and bam you have the max possible stats for your current character this is by the way me after just a couple more hours from 2000 hp and ct5 or 6 to 12 almost 13,000 HP of course way more firepower way more damage and I'm already pushing into CT 13 
in the first day of unlocking this character to level 30. I'm not even like world tier 7 yet with it, but I'm almost getting close to 15, and in a few more hours after this video, I will definitely be 15 with just these tricks. So this is it with this trap, of course, totally let me know down below if you fell into it, and I also want to see your before and after results, because this is definitely impacting at least a few of you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.